I want to talk a little bit now about the, the RFK Journalism Awards and, and the book awards that uh, were awarded last night. Um, you made a statement about uh, sort of the tough times that the media are facing now, uh, how reporters have been branded enemies of the state, uh, you know, and, and being called fake news and then things like that uh, by the White House and, and other politicians. Um, what do you think that that has done to media and, and how has it shaped the role of media in politics today? Well, the media has never been more under attack worldwide than it is today. Um, last year, over 400 members, 400 journalists were assassinated or disappeared, uh, tortured um, because of their work, because of their work um, researching and then speaking truth to power in, their, in our country and around the world. The most vocal person attacking the media is today the President of the United States. This is terrible for our country. It's not only terrible for our country, but because it undermines people's um, uh, trust in, in our system of government and in the press itself. But it also is even more terrible for the message that it sends around the world because our President attacking our press gives permission to dictators and military regimes all over the world to attack their press and pick them up and throw them in jail and accuse them of being terrorists or accuse them of, of being agents of whatever and uh, torturing them and, and destroying them and that undermines democracy both domestically and around the world. Now some members of the press have been extraordinarily courageous in our country. And uh, I think the New York Times and the Washington Post, in particular, have risen to the occasion of Donald Trump. But many, many other uh, outlets have cut back on their newsrooms and um, have cut back on their investigative reports. And um, the news business has changed from one that's really about news gathering into entertainment and that morphing from news, hard news, to entertainment has meant that, um, that uh, we have, we allow people to come on shows who will make increasingly outrageous statements because that will get more viewers instead of the content of what they actually bring to the table in terms of insight and factual information. You know, when you look at political journalism today versus 50 years ago when your father was campaigning, um, what are some of the differences you see? Well, some things have gotten better and some things have, have gotten worse. So I think uh, that was kind of a funny story, but I think that, um, you know, there was a relationship then with the press that is that you don't really find very often today. Um, I, I, when, I, when I interviewed Gloria Steinem for my book, uh, Ripple, Robert F. Kennedy, Ripples of Hope, she covered Daddy in the 1960s as a journalist. And she said that, um, she told me a story which I've heard many times throughout my life, which is that uh, journalists would come to my father's campaign with uh, skepticism, and then they would sort of fall in love with him, and then they would eventually all go to their editors and say, you have to take me off the campaign because I can no longer be objective. Well, part of that is because of what he was doing in that campaign and the, um, the, his vision for our country, but all of, also part of it was the atmosphere on the, cam on the campaign itself. The, easy uh, joking between the, um, the, my father, my mother, the, the, the people who were organizing and the journalists themselves. You know, they would work all day, file their stories, and then go out at night and go to a bar or go dancing or, or um, make up uh, songs about each other and play them to each other. 
uh, making up new words to old poetry, et cetera. So, you know, they just, the, the description of it is um, one of, of such fun and such, uh, um, it, was, it was a rollicking good time. And I don't think you would find that openness today. It would just be too um, easy to misinterpret and um, exploit for uh, nefarious political reasons today. So you don't see that kind of uh, relationship.